Mm. To be a good AOC or LIT, I would say your attitude is definitely one of the biggest factors into it. You have to have a positive attitude. And good characteristics is always willing to do something that someone else maybe isn't, being the first to jump up, but also being willing, willing to play second fiddle and listen. I think the most important characteristic that any LIT or ALC could have is servant leadership. I think it's so important to give back to camp because camp has been pouring into us for so many years as campers, and so the biggest thing that they could do as LITs or ALCs is to give back to others the way that they have been given to in the past. I think the biggest thing that makes a good ALA is someone uh, who's willing to work really, really hard even when no one's watching. Because obviously like it's easy to do something when uh, when everyone's watching, but there's a lot of times in ALA that you're gonna be given tasks like to clean this or do that where no one's gonna be watching you, but if it doesn't get done, um, it's gonna be something that is gonna make a noticeable impact on the day or on camp as a whole. Um, because you're gonna be doing things that you know you probably have never done. A lot of kids that come through it have never really like worked in a dish room or they've never really like had to take care of little kids that were homesick. Um, so it's definitely Having that confidence to get out of your comfort zone um, is another one, I would say, and just keeping the positive attitude throughout the whole program, um, whatever it might throw at you. Oh, my best memory from LIT year was definitely um, the very first night out you go on Monday night, you all get to go out as an LIT group and we went on the boats together. And then I talked to all the LITs who were on my boat with me on this night out and they were all saying that they felt the exact same way. Um, they were nervous, they had no idea what they were doing, just how I felt. I have to go back to ALC year. Um, ALC year was quite possibly my favorite year of camp and it was just the bonding moments, the small little moments. Um, you know, you can talk about the rapture trip that was so much fun or leadership classes or, you know, finally starting to help counselors out with skills. But what I thought was so fun was being in a cabin with the same people for two weeks and then ending up just bonding with those people every single second of the day and then you end up with friends you'll have the rest of your life. I think we went on a rafting trip um, and like the rafting trip was fun in itself but I think like the bus ride <laughs> um, was really fun because that's when I really like got to talk to like everybody. It was like the second week um, and I had been in leadership the first week so I had known like people in my leadership group pretty well but not everybody else and that was like the time where I felt I got to know my whole group and my counselors a lot better. I think back dish room leadership week um, you really get to bond with your LIT group because I was a blazer my first week in LIT so I didn't really get to meet a lot of my group until I was in camp um, so we just kind of had fun uh, getting to clean up and had wars in the back dish room so that was a good time. Um, I realized that LIT year is a group effort. Um, you're not going to be able to achieve it on your own because it is such a big task. And um, I just realized just how important the mission to camp is and how it takes really every single person, every single LIT, to get that mission accomplished and that you can't do it alone. As a staff member, uh, Navigators is my favorite year at camp. I think that that's an awesome program. And um, I love how close everyone gets in that program, and it's just a super weird, awesome program. I had two favorite summers at camp, and they both have to do with the ALC program. Um, my first favorite summer was actually when I was in ALC because I got really close to my, my ALC group, and uh, I really enjoyed my counselors, and we just had like such a fun time. And then my other favorite summer was actually when I got to go back and be an assistant counselor for the ALC program because once again I kind of got to flip sides and give those kids the same experience that I had gotten and that was just such a truly rewarding experience and it was the time of my life. Um, my favorite summer at camp would either be my assistant counselor year and my head counselor year. I was in ALC for both of them and my head counselor year I was a leadership counselor. But um, my assistant counselor year I was first exposed to the ALA program in ALC and it changed my whole view of camp and I never actually was in ALC but it was easily one of the coolest things for that two week period hanging out with the most amazing kids and getting to know them and now they're on staff so it's awesome to see it go full circle. The best way to be prepared for the LIT or ALC program um, is just getting ready for like devotions and thinking about all the things that you want to do because if you're thinking about it and you're ready for it mentally I think that you'll be prepared when you get there. Um, getting yourself ready for the hard work and being super well rested before you get there. So I think the best way to get prepared is just at home like start helping out around the house like your parents do so much for you and just try to help them out a little bit by doing stuff like sweeping or doing the dishes and stuff like that especially when they don't ask you to do it because one thing you'll notice is you're because like when I, I remember when I was in ALC and LIT I started doing that and I've never seen my parents so happy and so impressed 
but also once you get into that habit of kind of helping out without being asked, that's going to really transfer over into your ALC and LIT year. So preparing for summer camp, I always think a couple things to think about are what in past summers do you want to do better, whether it be devotions or free time or any sort of downtime or even a rainy day activity are perfect to focus on. But also I think the really important ones to focus on are those two to three minute filler things that you could be doing with campers or people around you because you just never know when you're just in a small transition from one thing to another just to keep those like two or three minutes occupied because those are always where you get the best camp memories from. To best be prepared is to honestly start to look for things in your daily life that you can serve others, which is so weird because you really won't understand what serving others is like until you're in LIT or ALC. It's a, such a weird concept, but I remember coming back from um, LIT year and being like, wait, I want to like continue to serve others. So I feel like starting that early is like one of the best ways because you because once you're in the LIT program, you're like it takes a, everyone expects a few days to become adjusted. And another thing I'd recommend doing is just kind of take a minute to like sit back and kind of reflect on your time at camp and like really think about the counselors that had an impact on you and just kind of have that image in your head of like what these counselors like how they made you feel and like how you can kind of replicate that and make these other kids feel special and stuff like that.